Hey YouTube, I want to do a quick uh, comparison uh, on two presses that I own that are equally priced at about 400 425 That is the Hornady Lock and Load Auto Progressive, which you see here. I've owned this machine for over eight years, and I basically loaded everything that I load on this machine recently. I purchased this Dillon 550, and this is primarily to load 45 ACP only. Anyways, just thought if you were looking for a press, these two seem to be the ones that come up most. And for good reason, I think they are the most widely used presses uh, in the mar on the market. And I just wanted to go over some of the major differences. As with any press, I think uh, your decision should primarily be made based on what your intended purpose of use is and uh, your expectation of the press. And by that I mean if your expectation is to load everything you own and maybe that's the press that you want uh, for a good long while, you don't want to uh, upgrade anytime soon, certainly you want to give some consideration to the amount of rounds, uh, the type of calibers, that's uh, basically your intended use. And so hopefully some of this information might be helpful towards that. Anyway, so getting to the presses, the big difference with like the Dillon is, and the Hornady is basically the Dillon is a four stage station, meaning four dies can go into the tool head here, as opposed to a five station uh, on the Hornady. This gives you more flexibility on how you arrange your dies and what dies you can put in here. As you can see on the Dillon, I've got this set up for 45 ACP. And, turn this you can see that I use a powder cup die which is this die here and I've always used one just for safety purposes unfortunately because this is four stage I'm having to forego a cedar separate crimp die and do it all in one with the Lee so but I'm, I'm confident that uh, in this die doing both I've used it before that way so I don't have any problem with it. The real problem that I have using a powder cup die in the Dillon in particular is you see this 45 degree angle that you have to be viewing this in order to get um, a sight picture on what exactly that uh, stem is doing because if you look at it right in the back of the press here you can't see it. And so that's an issue but I just work with it and uh, I'd rather have the powder cup than not obviously with the Hornady I've had it and I had it at this station right after the powder drop so it was very easily viewable from any angle for that matter but the big difference again five station four station uh, manual indexing it's still a progressive press meaning it has a carousel that uh, you manually move around and you index it by these little paws and it gives you a freedom of knowing exactly where you're at in your loading session. So as you can see here, I stopped the loading session. I have a, a bullet in and, uh, and basically the way that it's set up is I just manually index it over when I'm ready. So in the, you know, in this case, it's all, it hasn't been primed. So the new case will go in basically. I can get this right the new case will go in it'll charge everything's basically being done uh, probably know all the stations that it has um, you prime it so that there's a fresh primer in and then by manually indexing I'm just talking about doing that as opposed to with the Hornady, it basically does it for you. So it'll go from this station, and you can see how it skips over every pull. Uh, makes it for a much faster machine, I think. Not that much faster, because depending on how much uh, you load, again, what your expectation is. Um, I typically could load probably 500 uh, rounds an hour if I wanted to. And I have in the Hornady in 9 mil. Um, and even 45 ACP here, I'm doing about 10 seconds uh, per bullet, per cartridge rather. 
And that's essentially because I have to reach through the press the way I have the die set up to get to the uh, bullet station where I'm dropping the bullets on the cartridge. And I have to, again, look at this angle at a 45. So I'm having to move from right to left and so forth. Obviously here it's auto progressive, so it's going to move for you. And I can clearly view the powder top die. So that's a, those are big differences between these two presses. Other than that, I would say everything else is um, pretty minor. I mean, overall, I would say the Hornady is the smoother press. I think that has to do a lot because of the uh, bulk, the bulk of the press. If you look at the RAM, it's huge. And the amount of mass of, of steel or metal or whatever this alloy is that's on here. It's more so than on the uh, on the Dillon, the uh, piston arm you can see here, or the piston is not as uh, large in diameter as the Hornady, so it's going to give it a bit less of that smooth, solid feel. But nevertheless, this is very solid, very smooth. It's just that the Hornady is a little more so. But uh, everything else, like I said, is pretty minute. Differences that you'll have to uh, you'll have to contend with if you know the presses from one from the other is you know that the powder drops um, are a bit different. Uh, they meter uh, pretty well. I think uh, the Hornady meter is a little bit better only because it's metered on a um, metering rod that goes into a rotor. the The Dillon is metered by these bars. This is a small pistol bar. And that goes directly underneath the powder, the drop system, and it's metered by this. Um, this there's a nut under this uh, socket here. This is just a 50 cent socket I picked up at a pawn shop, but uh, what's sitting over it is a 7/16 socket, and you basically turn uh, right and left to meter the amount of powder. So um, they they work pretty much the same. I think the older system on the Dillon is worthy of note is better, smoother than the later style, which has a, a double uh, plate pivot uh, right here that pivots on it. The uh, later style is two plates sandwiched together and they pivot off of each other. And I think that's primarily for like a 44 Magnum application, uh, a potential fault on that. But other than that, I think it's it doesn't function at, uh, for any other purpose. I think the fail safe, uh, which is this rod, is the same in that it functions the same. So, But I like the old style and unfortunately if I wanted to get new tool heads I'd have to change to the new style and that I'm not going to do. I'll, if I do get other caliber changes with a whole setup here, I'll look for the old style powder drops with this linkage. Fortunately I don't think the Dillon sells it anymore. so. Just got to get used, and I bought this used anyways for 275, so I'm very happy with the buy, very happy with the press overall. And um, like I said, the other the other things that you want to give some consideration to, I think, are rather minor beyond what I've already mentioned. The uh, stability again is the same. The customer service I think is the same. I, I would give a slight nod to Dylan because I know that they warranty their press with the press, not the owner. I don't know what Hornady does, to be quite honest with you. I've not called them yet and asked them, do you warranty secondhand purchases? Because I bought this new. So that's one uh, one issue that you may want to clarify before you make a purchase. Uh, the system here in uh, Dillon with the uh, primer drop seems to be of a bit of an issue. Sometimes this little chute gets hung up. Uh, I've had it happen on a couple of presses that I've borrowed, uh, but not... I've not had it here. I've only loaded maybe 500 rounds on this particular press so far, so it's it's not quite, uh, you know, it's not quite uh, proved itself yet. But I, I anticipate something going on with this. But it's a minor fix. With the um, with the Hornady, you could see it's a different setup altogether. The pr spent primers drop through this brass tube uh, all the way to the bottom into into uh, a hose and then you discard them with whatever container you can see that power aid bottle 
basically uh, serves as my discarded primers and whenever it gets full that's the only thing I have to worry about. Um, this little bin is what holds the spent primers in the Dillon and I'm assuming it holds a thousand or whatever but it's, it's this is not the concern it's mainly that linkage under there that gives problems but with every press you have you're going to have little gremlins little adjustments that you're going to have to do to get it right so that shouldn't be uh, any major concern as far as the purchase uh, the cost is the other consideration other than the press itself I think the cost uh, exceeds the Hornady here with the Dillon when you do start changing out the tool heads and I know why people do it because with caliber change outs it's uh, much more difficult to adjust this powder drop uh, if you have to pull it off put it on the new tool head uh, it's much more convenient to pull out the whole tool head with the dies already set up with the new powder drop on it but that comes with a cost so you have to factor that in whereas with the uh, with the Hornady, these are basically, you know, one eighth turn, and you lock in the dies, so it's very simple to pull these out. As well as the uh, powder drop, you can one eighth turn, pop that out, no problem. So it's much easier, I think, to do a changeover on the uh, Hornady than it is on the on the Dillon, unless you go with the complete tool head replacement then it's easier on the Dillon but again it comes with the added price tag so you gotta factor all that in anyhow I'm very happy with this press I'm very very happy with the uh, Hornady which is going to be exclusively now the small pistol primer use and uh, I think it'll make life a little easier for me and a little bit more enjoyable because I won't have to do any change outs except with a um, Hornady's die sets pretty much. I'll never have to do the primer change out anymore So it'll make for uh, Just a more pleasant experience. I'm not really a an avid loader or and by that. I mean, I'm not it's not like a, a Hobby of mine. It's a necessity for me because I want to save uh, money overall on loading my cartridges and you know, If you price these out you shoot a lot you'll save money in the long run you'll shoot more they always say you shoot more and that's probably true but ultimately the idea is to save money and the any of these presses will pay for themselves over time just how much you shoot so hopefully that was informative if you have any uh, questions feel free to drop a message i'll be happy to answer any questions you have i'll do a follow-up on the uh, on the dylan primarily to see how it compares with the speed right now like I said it's uh, only about six round six cartridges a minute but once I figure out that um, that die for the powder check maybe it'll get faster till then